Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll attempt to fix this pressure washer that's idle surging and a lawnmower that won't start using one of the cheapest ultrasonic cleaners I could find. So it just arrived today and it has a pretty small capacity. It has only 0.75 liters or 0.2 of a gallon tank and I'm hoping that's going to be enough. I'll start by testing it with some water first and I have to put it in because it needs some liquid to start otherwise it would overheat. And then we'll see how it does with the carburetor. So it's pretty simple to use. It has two buttons. This is the power button and this is the timer button and the on off button turns it on and then turns it off. It also came with this tray for cleaning small items like jewelry. This is another plastic holder it came with for hanging something like earrings. So we're gonna start by removing the carburetor from this pressure washer which is pretty simple. All we have to do is remove the gas tank and the air filter housing. Now we can take the carburetor apart which will help to get a better clean. We're gonna remove the float, unscrew the main jet, and here's the nozzle that was behind the main jet. So I'm going to put these in the cleaner except for the float and the pin with the rubber tip because they look pretty clean already. So I'll be using pine sol for this cleaning and I have it mixed in this container 50% water, 50% original pine sol. Make sure to only use original pine sol. The scented stuff doesn't seem to work very good. So I'll go ahead and fill it up now and then I'm going to put the carburetor parts inside. So I'll be running it for 480 seconds, twice in a row, with a short break in between. Alright, so I can already see some deposits oozing out of this carburetor, so it looks like the cleaner is working pretty well. I'll be turning it on all sides and keep it for 150 seconds on each side. So you can see there's still some dirt oozing out here. And I'm on the second cleaning now, I'm gonna run it for 480 seconds again. And I'm just gonna turn it upside down. And this cleaner is not supposed to run for a very long time without a break, so I waited two minutes in between the first and second cleaning. Alright, so the cleaning is done, let's see how it looks. Well, it's definitely looking a lot better than before, it actually looks like new. So I'm very impressed and I don't think it can get much better than this. The water has gotten cloudy and there's some dirt settled at the bottom, so there's quite some dirt that came out. So that worked very well. Let's see what happens with the second carburetor which came off of a lawnmower that wasn't starting. Well, I can already see there are a lot more deposits coming out of this one. And I think this one was definitely clogged. Alright, the second carburetor is looking amazing. I'm very happy with the result. So let's see how the water is looking after this cleaning. And you can see that I can't even see the bottom anymore because the water is so cloudy. So here's the main jet, which looks perfectly clean. And here's the nozzle. It looks like new. I'm going to put everything back together now and we'll see if this cleaning was a success or failure. So now that I got the carburetors cleaned, I'm very happy with my purchase and I'm really happy that now I can clean carburetors in just 10 minutes. Well before it used to take me 24 hours of soaking overnight in the pine salt solution. And also it does an even better job than just soaking because all the vibration from the ultrasonic waves gets really deep inside the carburetor and cleans up all the passages. So if you're interested in buying one of these units, check out the links I placed in the video description below to a few different models. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be posting more home and car repair videos in the future.